case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Iowa Supreme Court found themselves challenged in 1956 with a unique intersection of legal codes, daily solar routines, and long distance phone records. At the heart of the Olson v. Henningsen case was a car accident dispute fraught with conflicting testimonies about the precise time it took place. The drivers at the center of the contingency, defendant Lloyd Simonson and plaintiff Olison, offered clashing narratives of the incident. On a crisp afternoon of November 17, 1950, disaster struck as Simonson, driving a tractor hitched with a wagon brimming with corn, halted on a hill to trade places with the fellow defendant, Kenneth Henningsen. In the darkness, Olison drove into the back of the ensemble, resulting in personal injuries. Lacking a rear lamp with a red light, an element mandated by Code Sections 321.384 and 321.387, the wagon became a setting for a courtroom furor. The narrative diverged on the alleged absence of daylight, claimed by the defendants, a point contested by Olson who maintained that it was already dark. Citing dusk as a crucial factor, the case hinged on the pivotal question of whether the crash took place 30 minutes or more post-sunset. The disparate accounts sparked a legal carousel that landed them in the court. The initial trial resulted in a dismissal of the action against Kenneth Henningsen. Coupling that with a jury verdict favoring the defendants, Olison launched an appeal against the decision. The focal point of the appeal was the admission of a long-distance telephone ticket as evidence, bearing the timestamp of a call made post-accident. After deliberation, the court concluded that the admissibility of telephone tickets should not hinge on legislative processes. Echoing verdicts from various federal circuit courts, the court asserted its discretionary power in accepting such evidence, especially if corroborated by other testimonies. Rationalizing its judgment, the court asserted that complex business cases should not be hindered by rigid evidence rules. Eventually, the Iowa jury's judgment in favor of the defendants stood firm marking the rejection of Olison's appeal and establishing a memorable precedent. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.